All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. We're playing some modern, and we're playing a card that got a lot of hype uh, during the preview season, and uh, I haven't really seen it all. Chandra's Incinerator, six mana for a six-six trample, colossal dread maw power level, and uh, spell costs X less to cast, where X is the total number of non-combat damage dealt to your opponents this turn. So if you lightning bolt them twice, it costs one. Pretty simple, right? 6-6 six, six, Trample. Ability is whenever a source you control deals non-combat damage to an opponent, Shadow's Incinerator deals that much damage to target Breacher or Planeswalker that player controls. So all of your bolts become Searing Blazes, and it's a 6-6 six, six, Trample for effectively one mana. Cost reduction, right? So um, I found this list online. Uh, Polycasol. You can see it on, on screen up here, uh, if you want to know. Uh, yeah, right up here. And uh, went 5-0 and oh with this list in a Magic Online League. This is a mono red burn deck. So no Boros Charms, no Tarkus Commands, no fancy dual lands. We're playing basic mountain. And usually, I play snow-covered lands always. I was a hipster. I'm, I was there way before Arkham's Astrolabe. I just always played snow lands in modern because I could, because I like them. But in honor of Arkham's Astrolabe being banned, I am playing non-snow lands today in modern um because they are also unbanned as well so too hot for snowlands too hot for snowlands and um get it so uh a lot of the usual cards seem burn here right four goblin guide four swift spear four bolt spike uh skewer the critics rift bolt but the white cards are being replaced with cards that are a little more all in to try and lean into chandra's incinerator so vexing devil a card that doesn't see a ton of play. It's a card that newer players tend to see, and they're like, oh my god, this card's insane. Um, it's okay. It's not great, but it's okay. But it fits the bill pretty well. It's four damage for Shauna's Incinerator for only one mana, which is pretty awesome. And then we have Seal of Fire, which can help us uh, do a turn one, turn two thing. You know, turn one, Seal of Fire, turn two, Lava Spike, you Seal of Fire, you cast Incinerator. That's pretty cool. Of course, Rift Bolt can do a similar thing. Turn 1, Rift Bolt. Turn 2, Lava Spike, you Incinerator. So a lot of ways to cast Turn 2, Incinerator here. And then a couple of Shard Volleys, because frankly, we just need more Bolts. It's got to have more Bolts in our deck, right? So, deck's pretty sweet. Five uh, Canopy Lands, a bunch of Mountains. Sideboards, four Skull Crack, four Smash, two Blood Moon, two Dragon's Claw, three Soul Guide Lantern. Real simple sideboard. Pretty simple deck. And we're going to find out here if Shotter's Incinerator is the real deal or not. What do you all think? What do you all think? I'm interested to see how this one plays out. Because the Incinerator just looks so good on face value, but the the fail state is pretty bad. Colossal Dread Maw, not exactly a great card in uh, in Modern. So we'll see. Remember, folks, show Colossal Apparel. I'm wearing the shirt right now. When I think about it, I touch myself. Super comfortable, super nice, light, great, awesome shirt products from Colossal Apparel. Dutch shop. Buy my shirt. Pile driver shirt. They have tons of new shirts as well. Um, I can't even keep track of all the new shirts they have, but they're phenomenal designs. They're hilarious. The Mana Screw and Mana Flood shirts are hilarious. Check it out. Callusapparel.shop. Promo code Jim10. It's 10% off your order. Callusapparel.shop. Check it out. Check it out. Call us apparel. I'll share CoolStuffInc.com. You're number one source for all your game needs. CoolStuffInc.com. Buy your singles, your sealed product, board games, you name it. CoolStuffInc.com has it. Promo code Jim5, 5% off your order, and you get a free Jim Davis Goblin token with each order on CoolStuffInc.com. Check it out. And of course, my articles and videos and great content. Break free content every day, CoolStuffInc.com. Check it out. Round one, let's go. Light him up. This is, uh, this is a hand of mostly lightning bolts. We will keep. <laughs> Very clear what we're doing here. Winning die rolls is a good thing. Let's go. Goblin Guide. Not quite a Mog Wednesday here. Oh my god, their top card's Worm Coil Engine. <laughs> Alright. They're playing Classic Tron, which is probably good for us. We, we goldfish them pretty well, and we're on the play, so... Oh my god, we're doing it. We're doing it! Might have a turn 3 kill here, folks. I don't want to get everyone excited. 
But we might have a turn three kill here. Do your thing, Tron player. Do your thing. Sylvan Scrying. Even if we don't kill them, they'll cast Worm Coil and we'll just, you know, bolt them and kill them. So here it is. Uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. Didn't even need anything else, actually. I'm just really bad at math. Be funny if it wasn't true. Upstairs. Turn three kill. When your deck's all lightning bolts, uh, you draw two lands and all spells. Okay. Not too no. bad. All right, so Tron, 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 on the draw. Um, on the draw, I almost don't even want Eidolon. Skullcrack is also an interesting one. Let's see here. So Seal of Fire is weird because it is very good with Incinerator, but pretty bad otherwise. I think we're going to ship the Seal of Fires. Um, I'm going to ship the Eidolons too, I think. Bring in the Skull Cracks. I guess I'll bring in the Blood Moons. I don't love the Blood Moons, but... Um, and then Smash Smithereens on the play is really good. You can smash their map on the draw. Not nearly as good. Smash is okay against Worm Coil, but not great. I think I'd rather just try and kill them. Um, and then Skull Cracks also good against Worm Coil if you can buy that one turn, so... I'm going to try this. And honestly, I think on the play, I might board out the Blood Moons and bring the, uh, the Eidolons back in. I mean, playing them all against the Sixth is a pretty good hand. I guess this is bad because they can just Tron us before we can Blood Moon them. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have brought this in. I don't know why my white blood blood Don't even know why Blood Moon's in a sideboard. Honestly. Pawns on four cards. I was muted there. Game. Blouses. Ah, crap. I'm stupid. I had really important things to say, and I said them, but they were muted, and now I forgot what they were. <laughs> this is my job. This is what I do for a living. Oh, my God. This is unbelievable. Round two coming up. <laughs> Meaning of life. It was so poignant that I can't even put it into words again. It was a once in a lifetime kind of thing. It happens. No matches here. What's going on? Shadow's incinerator wants to get wants to get dirty. Let's go. Let's go. Lost the die roll. Ooh. Roller coaster over here. We're gonna mulligan. Okay. Alright, I guess we'll keep. Um one, two. <laughs> I guess we want Vexing Devil over Lava Spike. Alright, that's a four card hand. Definitely not a... Oh my god. 
We're going to have to play a Burn Mirror on the draw with four cards. Oh, it's Prowess. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, maybe we maybe we can make this work. That's a good draw. Um, actually, I think we just kill this old Scar Mage. The Prowess deck is very reliant on its one mana creature living. And Vexing Devil is still fine later. It's just going to be four damage probably. So just kill this now before they even untap. And if they have a mutagenic growth here, what are you going to do? You can't beat everything, you know? It's not any fun until someone loses an eye. So the, the, the hope here is that there's no second creature. Again, the prowess deck is the prowess deck is more explosive than burn is, but it is much more reliant on um, the creatures for damage. Oh, they have the they're they're is a deck. Okay, so they have the uh, this thing. That's not great for us. Stormwing entity. And their scry goes bottom bottom. All right. Skewer the critics. Let's actually go for the devil and see if they just take four. I mean, they can skewer the uh, the stormwing. Please, please, please take four. Please take four. Please take four. Please take four. Did it. And no free spell. Remind you folks, we mulligan to four this game. Four. Bingo. Why is this not working? Hmm. Huh. So Spear, two cards left. Like the gut shot was like a mulligan for them, basically. Bing bong, bing bong. Oh my god, double so spear. They have so much gas. What are we gonna do? I think we just cast the idol on. If they only had one so spear, I would just kill it, but they have two. We just we can't compete with their stuff. We just need to try and get them, I think. Bing bong, bing bong. Here they come. No blocks. Three cards in hand. Yes, turns out their choke point was not the number of threats. Yes, goblin guide. Put them to eight life points. Top card, steam vents. Are we going to steal this game on four cards? You got to cast spells for prowess. We got an Eidolon in play. Knock on wood. I ordered my new, my new, my new desk this morning. It's an uplift standing desk. Yes, yeah, it's up. New office hype. <laughs> okay, okay. Sunbaked Canyon. We are drawing kind of hot. Get it? It's a burn deck. Draw a card. Seal fire. Um. I think I would rather hold up Lightning Bolt than just cast Seal of Fire.
Lightning Bolt. Targeting, Eidolon of the Great Rebel. Resolves. Why is chat white? Because it's broken and I had to fix it. There's six. They attack a both. Attack a one. Attack a both. They have a bolt. It's three. It's only nine. They have five cards in their hand? Holy hell. I don't like dark mode. Oh, boy. oh my god. This is it. This is so tense. This is so tense. Soul Scar Mage. Who's ready to go upstairs? We have so many outs. All right, the first appearance of Chandra's Incinerator is not a good one. Um, <sighs> uh, well, this is a teachable moment. Yeah, I guess so. All right. Well, I guess we'll place the old fire and say go and hope we don't die. Uh, if it had been an idol out of the Great Rebel, it would be the same problem, right? So, like, it just it just kind of funny. Uh, we're not killing Souls Garbage. If they can guess four spells and kill us, all right, sure. I guess now we have to kill a mage. I guess it's the same thing because we just one or one or three is the same thing. All right, so we're gonna kill one, we're gonna kill their creature, I guess, and then jump block and just try and draw a bolt. So, all right. And Lord help us if they have a uh, a mutagenic growth or something like that. The stones it would take to go to one here off of like a gut shot would be insane. That is true, we do have Rift Bolt and Secure the Critics, which are both not hits anymore. Lava Dart? Oh, we're dead. Alright. Shotters and... We might only get to four that game, alright? Just want to let everyone know, with three more cards, we had a Mountain, a Shard Volley, and a Shard Volley. They were super dead. So, all things considered, it wasn't that bad. Um, alright, so we're going to bring in our Dragon's Claws. And that's it. And then we're going to sideboard out, I guess, probably Seal of Fire. Definitely want the Eidolons, because they are playing cantrips and we're not. Um, I actually have a Shard Volley. It's like the worst burn spell, but like a lot. I actually got two Shard Volleys, actually. I think Seal of Fire killing their creatures is actually a pretty big game. So. Oh, man. Shonda's Incinerator, you know? Shonda's Incinerator. This is a much better hand. This hand has everything. Oh, we're not bringing in Smash for their potential Dragon's Claws. It could just be dead. We're not doing that. Don't forget, we have a 6-6 six, six in our deck, so it's not like we're locked into only burn spells. Here we go. Suspend Rift Bolt. That is really messed up. Here it comes. Who's ready? They also don't know we're playing Incinerators. They probably just take take four off this, hopefully. Always draw any bolt, you know, that's fine too. Upstairs. Alright. Oh, 
Town. All right, it's okay. It's fine. We'll draw more spells. We'll, we'll draw more spells. Goblin guide. Goblin guide. They saw the line. Vexing devil. If it had been any other burn spell, it would have facilitated us, but it did not. It did not. And that's why, that's a good lesson there, why vexing devil is not a very good magic card. But goblin guide attacks. Reveals. Reveals. Okay. Why would you want to metamorphose in response to the Goblin Guide trigger? Why don't you just get more information? Reveals a mountain. They just they just knew their top card wasn't a land. Because obviously the sleeve was scuffed. So they drew it with metamorphose and then revealed the mountain. Alright, All right, so... Good news here is we got him to bolt the uh, the goblin guide, and now he gets to idle on them, which is great. So idle on is a real house against them. Uh, Redex all can trips and stuff. So wow, they have more removal. Folks, I want to say Colossal Dread Maw is going to win us this game, but just saying. All right. Dragon's Claw, sure. This is sick. We're not Colossal, colossal, colossal Dread Mawing. Alright, we'll just say go. Red, red, blue. Light up a stage, hard cast. Embarrassing. Revealing two lands, and they have a land in their hand also. Alright, well... We did it. Get to play a 1-6-6. Shock you. Shock you. Shouldn't have played the extra land, I guess. Don't really need to do that, but... Save Skewer. Oh, you're right. I miscounted. I could have saved the Skewer. I screwed up, yeah. I, 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 just, I just miscounted it. I was, I was thinking it was it was six Carlos and a red. It's five Carlos and a red. You're totally correct. I could have just bolted them and then cast the uh, Incinerator for three. Beat that. Bam. Incinerator. Watch out for set adrift. Sweatiest. Don't bring bad vibes to my stream. If we get our Chandra's incinerator set adrift, I'll be pretty sad. They did not play the mountain. They have an exile for light up stage. Okay. We draw another incinerator, we're gonna feel silly. Yeah. I made a mistake. It happens, you know? Welcome to the stream, everyone. Ooh, Bedlam Reveler. We have a six mana card, they have an eight mana card. That means their card's better because it costs more. Dragon's Claw. Well, they block now. They're not, they're, they're not dead to a bolt that we gain life. They also discard a Stormwing, a Land, and an Abrade. LOL, nice Abrade. Tapping a Mountain. 
Second to land. Like to see that. Like to see that. Good place to start. They've already used two bolts and a flame slash, so double spell to kill this incinerator. Ah, oh, soul scar mage is a problem. Yeah, always yes. Come on. How about a talk on the bannings? Yes, some on YouTube. Opponent goes to three life points. Swiss beer. Spell. God damn. <laughs> so they have a third bolt. We just basically lose the game on the spot. If they don't. We get to do a pretty good. I guess not really. We just we would just trade the. They have like an opt or anything or some sort of spell. They haven't put any actual blue spells yet. That's why attack. Oh man. Even like a lava dart would be bad, I guess. You just double block and then just start darting. Yeah, we're just oh, man. No attack. No attack. Beating double claws. The problem is that their deck grinds better than our deck does. They have light up a stage. They have bedlam reveler. They have more ways to draw cards, and they have more possible damage output because of prowess. We're just kind of like drawn to a lava spike every turn. So claw favors them more than it favors us. It was probably incorrect of me to bring in the claws, and now of course we're being maximum punished for it. These are just like skull cracks who won the game, and they had the bolt. Wow. And they even let the claw resolve before casting it. Oh, man. What's up, bud? Let's see you bud. Another Bedlam Reveler? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's just terrible sideboarding on our part. Just terrible. If only someone could have warned us about it, you know? Not a single viewer in chat warned us about what could happen here by bringing these claws in. Not even a one. Usually Yoshi Man's way on top of that stuff, but I don't know. It's not today. All right, big draw, big draw, big draw. I said, big draw, big draw, big draw. Okay, so we get to kill something. That is, there are so many dragon's claws. Yeah. Why are there so many? Because we're dumb and brought in ours. I'm gonna won the game if we didn't. We're dumb. Yeah. And. Can't attack. 23 to 5. 23 to 5. What? My phone. My phone? I don't know. Scalding Tarn. Manamorphos. Oh, man. Just bad sideboarding. It's just bad sideboarding. If Shadows Incinerator was printed in the year 2004 at this mana cost with these abilities, what would the power and toughness of Shadows Incinerator be?
four four three four three three. If Shotter's Incinerator was printed in the year two thousand and four, with the same mana cost, the entire same text box, but the power and toughness was changed to be a more two thousand and four level, what power and toughness would it have? Four two. We're just we're just dead. Can't ever win this game. They won't even print flames on Gabu. Yeah. All right. So we did. We just we mulliganed to four game one. They came that close to winning, and then sideboarded poorly and lost because of it in game two. That's magic for you, folks. That's just classic Magic the Gathering. Four five. Um. I would say it would. I would say a four two three three four four is definitely reasonable. A four five with vanishing four. Yes, back when all cards had drawbacks. Oh man. Remember, folks, our cardboard live. If you're a streamer, you must use cardboard live. End of story. There is no discussion to be had. This is the overlay you see on screen right now. If you're watching the stream, full deck overlay and on arena full card overlay. Great stuff. Cardboard live. Email James. Get in the beta. Light up a stage is not good in this deck. It's way too awkward. When you light up a stage on turn two or three and you hit like skewer the critics, skewer the critics, or you know, whatever, it just it's just too awkward. It's just not good enough. This is not a deck that wants to try and draw cards. You want to use all your mana to kill your opponent. Alright. Round three. Riot Vriss. Franklin. What's up, Franklin? How you doing, my friend? Four months resub. If you ever, if you play uh, Legends of Runeterra, and there's things you don't like in the game, Riot for instance, my my good buddy Frank Scarron, who works there, he's one of their playtesters, so direct all of your ire in his direction. This hand kind of sucks. Opponent mulligans to six. He's got the Goblin Guide. I'm going to mulligan. No problem, Frank. Love you. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to ship this hand. We can do better. Turn one Goblin Guide is pretty appealing, but all right. We can do better by having a turn two incinerator. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's ship... Uh, so you have turn one seal, turn two skewer incinerator. Opponent mulligan to six. I would say Vexing Devil is probably our worst card. Could be skewer. Eh, that's your. Thanks, thanks, Frank. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. Franklin. Oh God! Don't boggle me. Please don't boggle. Oh my God. Hello, darkness, my old friend. It's okay. Shotter's incinerator is going to beat this boggles opponent. By itself. Why can't I target it? It's not working. All right, so it just like literally did did did. It's literally just did they draw the card Daybreak Cornet or not? That is the only question there is to be asked here. If they did, we're dead. If they didn't, we can win. We probably will win, honestly. Turn to Incinerator. Top deck in modern post bans? No idea. No idea. I'm not going to look. I can't look. Over here. And everything that's happening is good. They played... A Griff Spoon, a Spider Umbra, a Spirit, uh, not, not, not Spirit Link. Um, ooh, okay. We can handle that. Can we? Maybe we can. Maybe we can't. I don't know. We're probably going to die. We're not dead yet. We're not dead yet.
So the question is, this is why Vexing Devil's awful, by the way, because they, they can just not take the damage here and not die. Um, so we are currently one short of killing them. By one, I mean four. <laughs> nah, a Skewer wouldn't do it either. We're, we're still one sh Oh yeah, what are that? Yeah, so we, I should I should kept a skewer, maybe. I considered dumping the devil, but I, I figured we mulligan, so I wanted a little more a little more gas. All right, I mean, they only have one card. It's probably not an aura. So basically, just like, can they draw an aura or no? God damn it! Oh. All right. Well, about that Boggles opponent. God, I hate Boggles. All right. So we bring in three, four skull cracks. We cut. Turn two incinerators. Way too slow. What do we cut? We cut the devils, maybe. Devil kind of sucks. Screw this card. All right. If one of the, if one of the die roll, we won that game. All right. Go on first. Here we go. This matchup is very winnable. If they just don't draw Coronet, you can definitely you can definitely beat them. Didn't draw it that game, but we, we and if we, if I had side, if I had kept the cards properly, we, we would have won. Um, if I had if, if I kept a, a skewer over the devil, we, 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 we would have won that game. So, oh my god, oh atrocious hand, unbelievably bad hand. What? They have Luris for game one. I don't remember seeing a Luris for game one. And the, the card that makes sense for them not to have Luris would be Leyline of Sanctity. But obviously they would keep that card in against me. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. All right. Um, Sispear Bolts. Do we dump the incinerator? Yeah, I think we do. Go get him, buddy. Got some work to do. I got some work to do here. Oh, <gasps> are you for real? No boggle. They keep seven cards this game. What is happening? I mean, Spirit Dancer or uh, Dryad Arbor are both. Not good here. And seal fire also answer, answer, answers the thing anyway. What is going on? What? The Boggles player is so concerned with their burn matchup, they're boarding Core Firewalker. All right, let's see. If, let's see how uh, how experienced they are. Oops! Oh, I misclicked. Ah. Oh. Oh, what was I thinking? 
What a dumb attack. Why did I do that? I'm so stupid. Got him. Alright, so Skull Crack means damage can't be prevented, which stops the protection effect. And, uh... We get to kill a Firewalker now. They go to 11. <sighs> Alright, well now the Firewalker has totem armor. Um... So this is two, four, six, eight. Oh my god. If we bolted turn two, they'd be dead. Yeah, maybe. It's the most spidery core firewalker ever. Alright, whatever. Alright, you win. Boggles is hard enough. Why don't we bolt in response to our turn two firewalker? Um, so I wanted to save the prowess triggers for later. We, we, we knew we were going to kill their firewalker with the skull crack. So I wanted to save, the, save it for, for prowess triggers late, like, down the street. That was the idea. I mean, I could have bolted when I attacked on turn two. But I wanted to hold it up in case they had like a spirit dancer or something. I guess we had the seal fire, so it didn't matter. But all right, um, yeah. I mean, Boggles with core firewalkers probably is actually unbeatable. So it's always that, I guess. That's okay though. Let's keep going. One and two. One and two. I would say most of the losses are my fault. Hi, I'm Drew Davis. Welcome to Jackass. Brutal, brutal stuff. If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, if you're um, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there, like, comment, subscribe, take 10 seconds, like the video, leave a comment. Helps me out a ton. Let me know what your thoughts are on Chandra's Incinerator and Burns. Is this card good? Is this card bad? What do you think? What do you think? Core Firewalker. Core Firewalker. Oh my, this is. A... All right, let's go. I'm getting hungry. Incinerator's been kind of mopey. Um, the one time we cast it on turn two, we lost the game anyway. And there's been a lot of times we've been kind of like, just like can't really do it. Oh, I got a mulligan in his hand. Man, I guess not a good hand. No recurring damage sources, but Sacred Foundry tapped. Go, interesting. There it is. There's our buddy. What's going on over there? Top card, Path to Exile. Interesting. This is. Jess guy control circa 2013 oh, I'm sad I'm a sad man. Oh boy. They've taken almost no damage from their lands. 
Lightning Helix, my creature. Maybe they're scared of Skullcrack, Master Nope. Oh my god, they're just bolting me. They're also playing Stormwing Entity. Alright. Well, I guess we're gonna bolt that. I mean, like, we gotta find some sort of recurring damage source here. So we just unload. We want to save. I guess we have Skewer and Rift Bolt, so. Skewer now. If we draw an Incinerator, we can still cast it, so. 36. I mean, we have 10 points of burn, and they are at 14, so like. Once I start Snapcaster maging these these Lightning Helixes, oh my god, why do I even talk? Who lets me talk? Who lets me talk? I mean, they revealed paths. We know we know they have that, but they path us. It's, it's like a free card, basically, so we'll get to stack our canopy. Vantress gargoyle. Uh. Okay. That's a four butt. We have seven more cards in our graveyard they can attack. Sure. It's almost there. And it can't block because they have four or more. Yeah. They have a, a path in their hand. So we'll just attack them, I guess. Vanders Gargoyle can't currently attack or block. Alright, so they path me. Get a mountain. Got a ways to go here, folks. Pretty, uh, pretty interesting brew from our opponent. Well, they hadn't cast those two lightning helixes, you know? Ah, Celestial Colonna. There it is. There she is. Alright. Draw off Canyon. So a spear. Okay. I'm just gonna do the, the one here and suspend Rift Bolt, I think. Each player mills a card. You got it. One Eidolon of the Great Rebel in the pooper. Yeah, you got it. Come get me, Vanders Gargoyle. Just don't have two, don't have two bolts to finish me off, you know? Probably couldn't beat two bolts. Maybe we could, actually. I don't know. Maybe pretty sad they bolt me twice here. On.
Oh, you're still here? Stormwing Entity. Are they dead? I think they're dead. Electrolyze? Yes or no? Does my opponent have Electrolyze in their deck? So... 4, 8, 10, 11... 12. Yeah, that's lethal, right? <laughs> Vexing Devil showing its true quality. Unleash the fury. Nice Lightning Helixes opponent. Takes no damage from their lands. Resolves two Lightning Helixes. Not good enough. Not good enough. Skullcracks are in. Um, Seal of Fire probably out. Honestly, Vexing Devil's pretty freaking terrible. They have tons of removal spells. Yeah, let's just do this. Get these Skullcracks going. Does look like they can pass my incinerator, but Blood Moon? No. Blood Moon sucks. We want to kill them. What happened last time? We 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 bored in a non-burn spell. You know, we drew, we drew two of them a row in the two of them in a row and then lost. I can't talk today. I'm sorry, folks. Yeah, playing Vex and Devil is just giving them a, a lightning healer's target if they want it, or they can just take four. You know, it's up to them. That's the problem. That's the problem. Shadow's Incinerator has felt pretty all-in. Um, isn't hasn't really worked yet. Yeah, sure. It's a hand. Eat this bad boy. Oh god, what's that? Oh god, there's a there's a bug. Oh my god. Oh god. Y'all see that? Am I seeing things? Oh! Oh, Goblin Guide all day. Let's go. We'll see how they fetch in this game. If they have absolute disregard for Blood Moon, I'll consider bringing it in. Top card Snapcaster Mage, sure. Well, now we drew a skull cracks. So we can actually like when they when they go to flash back the helix. At least we can turn that off. Cut off one goblin guide and two shall grow to take its place. Ruined halo. Oh my god! They get a ruined halo. On my goblin guides. That doesn't matter actually. We can skull crack them. Ooh, that would be nice. They think they're safe. And we skull crack them. Oh boy. Vantress gargoyle. With mana up for path. Can't block unless you have four or more cards in your hand. So it can currently block. Um, okay. I think that we are going to suspend Rift Bolt and say go. I think our attacks here are just too bad. And they want to keep playing cards. The Argo will not be able to block. We've got Skullcrack up. We can eventually be able to attack, maybe. We're not playing Seal, because we want to leave up Crack in case they want to snap Helix. We got that counterspell on our hand, folks. Counterspell. Searing Blaze counterspell. Counter your spell, deal three. 
Path to Exile my Goblin Guide in your main phase. Okay. But why? Oh, sure. Storming Entity, and now the Gargoyle can't block. It's a good day. It's a great day, ba -na -na -na. it's a great day, ba -na -na -na. it's a great day, ba -na. All right, so untap. That's a bad spot for that. Rift Bolt, targeting Stormwing Entity. Fiery Islet, not the worst. Oh, I should have drawn first, that was stupid. Screw it up. If I draw a haste creature, I'm gonna feel really dumb. I don't wanna feel dumb. Don't make me feel dumb, please. All right, not that dumb. So three, six, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 points of burn in our hand. Fire up the skewer, Sigio. They scried a land to the top. Could they have blocked? Ooh, yeah, actually. I didn't even consider that. They didn't scry, though, right? Oh, Stormwing did scry. Holy cow, yeah. That, that was, that's, I didn't even think of that. Good catch. Good catch. That would have been, been awesome. Thought Scour targeting me? Oh, so this thing an attack? Okay. Milled Skullcrack land. That would have been such a cool little play. Man, I feel lucky that we didn't get punked by that. Two mana up. Gargoyle can currently block. Well, we're going to start casting spells and see if we can uh, get them to cast a spell. That is an amusing way for a Goblin Guide to be bad against Mantras Gargoyle. All right, so we can't attack because they have enough cards in hand. We each mill a card, sure. Blessed Alliance gain four life. God. Now their helix is free. All right, so there are five. They have they can go land snap helix. Oh, I can't watch. Trading goblin guide and seal fire for gargoyle feels awful because the gargoyle is like not even on half the time anyway. It's true, we can't steal we can't steal our own goblin guide. I mean it's just the difference of literally one point. Lightning Helix, oh my god! So, they're at five. After being called out on Twitter, I'm still using my raw sexuality to promote your stream. What? What? Lightning Helix targeting me? Sure. Alright. I mean... Snapcaster on top? God, no! 
<laughs> oh, how many life gain spells can you cast in one game? All right, we're just gonna go to the next game, I think. I mean, they have, they have Snapcaster for Blessed Alliance. All right, we can't deal seven damage in one card. Not even two, realistically. All right, tough game there, tough game. Y'all want to see Blood Moon? I'll bring Blood Moon, sure. Um, let's cut two Seal of Fires. Let's actually cut it. Actually, they have paths. Starball is fun. Let it ride. Huh. Usually one land hands are a trap, but nah, we can't keep this hand. Oh, that's terrible. Oh. Why do you do this to me? Well, they ain't casting Lightning Helix on turn two. Goblin guide, go, buddy. Better late than never. Top card, stubborn denial. Whew. Boy, pawn's going deep. Oh yeah, nice blood moon chat. Thanks a lot. This card's legal and modern? Okay. We're obviously drawing Blood Moon, Blood Moon, because chat's stupid. It's like, oh, bring your Blood Moons. Yeah, Jim, bring your Blood Moons. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Um, all right. Let's just fire off. Just tap our non-mountain as many times as we can. Does seem pretty awful against Burn. They just have all these like isolated chapels and stuff. That's pretty good, actually. We'll give them the one life. They can have the one life. I think Salt Eye will still be playable. What do you, what do you mean? In, without Astrolabe? I don't know. It's modern. Everything's playable. Case and point. What's up, Strange Ember? They have, they, they have their mountain now, too. They have all three basics. It's all you Blood Moon players out there. Thanks a lot. Oh, yeah, let's go, non mountain lands. This card's freaking terrible. <laughs> let's go. Arid Mesa. Well, Goblin Guys is, you know, helping out, but. Alright, I mean, there are 10, so I, sh I, I screwed up, I should spike them, I, I, just, I thought it was a thingy. That would have been 3, 6, yeah. I hope we don't get a, we don't get a punish for this. Supreme Verdict. Alright, that's pretty annoying. Why don't they just play Shadow of the Sky, so they can draw cards off their Vandress Gargoyles, you know? Okay. Spike ya. Seal ya. Incinerate ya. 
They have seven cards in hand. <whistles> Got a ways to go here, but... Pet the Exile, which is more food for the Shard Valley. Going to four. I'm, I'm sure some Salt Eye deck is going to be fine. I mean, oh my god, are you serious? Are they going to double Lightning Helix my Chandra's Incinerator? This has been like one of the most heinous leagues I've played in a really long time. Like... <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to tap my mountain and shard volley myself and they can see the game. I don't want to play anymore. You win. Oh my god. Alright. So five cards in hand. Uh, all right, all right. <laughs> this league, this league, L O L. What happened this league? What didn't happen this league? We've been getting boggled and lightning helixed, and everything's going wrong. Just bad things are happening. Shadows and Incineration is terrible. <laughs> Um, just so high variance in a deck that's like built around consistency. Uh, same thing with Vexing Devil, just like just, just a bad magic card. All right, we're going first. Let's wait. Let's get this last game here. All right. Oh yeah, that's a hand. Let's go. Let's do this. Opponent goes Lamb Martyr of Sands. Yeah. Oops. Attack! Go get him! You can do it! I don't have my chair. Why are these things out of whack? I didn't do that. Oh god, we're gonna get dredged now. <laughs> dredge is a terrible matchup for Bird. We're playing Dredge next. That's good. All right, so on tap and Seal O Fire. We're gonna. Uh, they got no Dredge cards yet. We're gonna just let's start on the Devil, I guess. Devil's in the uh, the details here. Took the four. Wow. All right. That's pretty sweet. Um. So next turn they could definitely have blockers. Narco 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 amoebas and stuff. I can't talk today. Dredge with the new ghoul. Keep her mulligan. We're playing that deck next. We're gonna find out. Our next deck, after this burn deck, which will be real, real soon, is uh, Dredge with Silver Smote Ghoul. City of Brass, we like to see that. Cathartic Reunion, alright. Just don't uh, hit nine Creeping Chills, please. There's one. There's two. Smiting Helix, yeah, but this is the deck we're playing next, so. There it's 16. 16. I mean, we're probably never getting to attack again, so just get our stuff in now. I don't think, I don't think we probably, we, we, we can win this game. They just have, they have more Helixes in their graveyard, too.
Smiting Helix. They have Conflagrate too. Are we just dead? They just fireballs for seven. Uh, 14. Yeah, we're just dead. Alright, whatever. Yeah, Dredge is a bad matchup for Burn. Um, they just have free Lightning Helixes and a fast clock. That's a, that's a real tough one. I mean, we don't got much here. We got these Lanterns. That's really it. Uh, take out the Eidolons and shave one of these crappy Seal of Fires. I should bring Skullcracks. It's not the worst. Um, probably cut all the Seals. I mean, Seal allows for a turn two Incinerator, but... Let me cut the Devils, maybe. Devils so bad. Does it actually improve the dredge deck? Uh, we're going to find out. I don't know yet. Just cut the incinerators. No, I think turn two incinerators is definitely one of our best paths to victory. Just like try and get our nut draw going, you know? <laughs> Speaking of nut draws, uh, we're going to mulligan this hand. Ah, it's like the same hand with the goblin guide. Uh. Eyes. One land lands are usually a trap in burn decks. You just don't have to pull your cards fast enough. Uh, I'm going to mulligan this. Oh, much better. We got a lantern. We're good to go. Let's go. Keep, ship, land, shard valley, and hope we draw a creature. I guess we just say go. I mean, like, we spike him, our skewer's dead. If we draw a Chandra's incinerator, then that's bad. We're going to hold the spike. That's the problem with the incinerators. Like, it just makes all your cards super awkward. You have to do really awkward things. Oh my god. Alright, I'm just gonna play the lantern. Because they can cathartic next turn. Shenanigans. I declare shenanigans on you. I right, get to draw a card at least. You talking about me? You talking about me? All right, let's draw a land. So we can at least cast this thing. Cool. Incinerator. That's so sick. They dredged one and hit Stinkweed him. Oh my god, what are they going to do? Cathartic again? Oh, I'm sorry, they didn't have, they didn't have Cathartic last turn. Narc Amoeba, Creeping Chill. Double Creeping Chill again. Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! Um... Okay. All four silver smoke ghouls. Oh boy. Um, right. <laughs> okay, that was fun. So yeah, um, definitely a, a fun, you know, thought experiment. Um, 
This deck did 5-0 a league on Magic Online. Doesn't necessarily mean much, but it does seem really bad. This card just seems atrocious. Um, this card has a similar problem to things like As Foretold and Ancestral Visions in uh, in Modern, where like you're playing two cards that aren't very good to try and put together this combo, but your combo is like a 6-6 six, six for one, which isn't even that good, or draw three cards for free, which isn't even that good, you know? So the amount of work required to make this card good just seems far too high. And while, yeah, you can play it on turn two, like, it has to actually matter. Your opponent has to not be able to answer to it, and it has to make up for all the times that you can't cast it on turn two and you just have it on turn four and can't do anything, you know? And furthermore, Vexing Devil is just a terrible magic card. Um, so yeah, I, I this, this deck just doesn't seem very good. This doesn't seem very good at all. Um, I'm glad gonna, I'm gonna we tried it. But um, yeah, that's... Uh, Shiner's Incinerator can go into the Incinerator. Alright, so that's this deck. Uh, we're playing Dredge next. We just got beaten by Dredge. Now we're going to play Dredge, so it's a pretty good thing. But all you YouTube folks, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me I'm wrong in the comments about Shadows Incinerator because you love the card. I know you'll do that. I can't wait for you to do that. I really can't wait. It makes my day. YouTube folks, I love you.